It's dirty, cloudy, and the strong odor coming from this stream is like standing next to a gas pump. Take a closer look, you can see an oil-based sheen floating right on top. The video shot during last Saturday's rainstorm. The problem is this, all the tainted water eventually ends up in Robin Hollow Pond, a source for Pawtucket's drinking supply. We want to minimize any negative impacts to our source water and you know this is definitely a negative impact. Inspectors from Pawtucket's water supply board red flagged suspicious samples back in 2005. They found high traces of chemicals and a gasoline additive called MTBE. Methyl tertiary butyl ether it first started being used in uh, 1979. Herb Johnston is a hydrogeologist specializing in groundwater investigations. It was obvious that the uh, muddy water was coming off the, uh, the auto, advanced auto recycling property. Advanced auto recycling is a salvage business, a scrapyard for thousands of cars and trucks sitting on 30 acres of land in Cumberland. The property has a storied past, an illegal dumping spot where over the last 30 years, EPA agents and Rhode Island officials have found hazardous waste, contaminants like arsenic and lead buried secretly in the ground. Who put them there? No one can say with certainty. There is a bit of a fight going on in this neighborhood, and that's because the landowner next to the scrapyard ended up finding contaminants on his property. So are you thinking, where did this come from, or you know exactly where it came from? Well, sometimes it's obvious where things come from, and you know, you look next door and you say, you know, it had to come from there. Uh, but, you know, thinking that and proving that um, are two different things. Lou Paolino began digging through his land and state records. He says his neighbor, Advanced Auto Recycling, filled in wetlands without the proper permits. A fact Rhode Island's Department of Environmental Management has confirmed. These aerial photos show ponds disappearing between 1981 and 2005. You ask the questions, how did this happen? Paolino filed a civil lawsuit against the scrapyard. A copy of his case, complete with exhibits, went to the office of then U.S. Attorney Robert Carenti in September of 2008. Ten months later, Carenti took the case. Although, to Paolino's surprise, the former U.S. attorney was sitting at the defense table, having left his official post in July of this year. He was now in private practice, representing the scrapyard and their corporate owners, LKQ. You know, you feel like you want to have trust in the government, but talk about a conflict of interest.